plenty for wind. And advanced construction make Nantong a center for development of China's wind power industry. The turbine hub, blades, tower, and bays are all made here, helping the city's green economy to reach a new high in 2020. We have just started, and the peak is still to come. The next step is to move into open sea areas. In the coming five years, we will establish wind power bases in the Bohai Bay, the Yangtze River Delta, and the Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau region, developing the entire industrial chain. This development comes with government support. Companies undertaking key technological cooperation with research institutes will receive subsidies of 75% of their costs, up to a maximum of 5 million yuan, and there are 50% subsidies up to 5 million yuan for companies transferring technology into goods. The local government is also redeveloping and upgrading residential areas. Ms. Shen and her handicapped husband lived in an outdated building with no elevator and inadequate drains. But they were worried about the quality of the temporary housing while they waited for their apartment block to be rebuilt. I was quite excited about a rebuilding plan, but not sure where we would move to in the meantime and how long it would be. And I didn't think the prefab houses for elderly, sick and disabled would be comfortable enough. Those fears proved unfounded. The boiler and kitchen gas equipment are all good, so we moved in. This old neighborhood, located in the city's downtown area, complete with a functioning temple and historical sites, will be transformed into a cultural and commercial areas in the coming years, as the idea of preserving humanity and Lexis has rejuvenated the greater riverside city. A growing ecologic conservation effort is underway along the Yangtze River, and Nantong is no exception. Near the estuary meeting the Yellow Sea, more than 50 chemical factories servicing companies in Shanghai across the river were relocated. In their place, a pilot town with biopharmaceutical enterprises is rising. We want to attract the talents with our ecological advantages, so we proposed a vision of a small town clustered with science, technology and culture. We will continue to explore the relationship between environmental protection and growth, incorporating cultural development in rural revitalization. The small town has big plans, hoping to grow into an international platform. And it is creating a green and innovative model in parallel with the rising city.